Hello, my name is Jin, and in a few days, it's going to be the 91st Academy Awards, and honestly, I haven't even done all of the individual movie reviews yet. I don't think I'm even, even halfway done. So, what I'm going to do instead, for now, is speed review all of them. Well, it's going to be tiring. First of all, this is how it's going to come down. I just say at least about maybe one or two sentences about each and every movie and maybe give it a grade and also my recommendation and also well, well, my feeling whether it should have won an Oscar for Best Picture or not as fast as possible. There are like 90 of these movies so 3, 2, 1, let's do this! Okay, Wings. Wings was the very first movie to win the Oscar for Best Picture, and to be honest, to be, and to be honest, it's actually not that great, but also not that terrible. It's a decent start, but not the best picture. So I'd say it's like uh, roughly seven or eight out of ten. And would I recommend you to watch it? Well, if you've seen the silent movie, then watch it. If you haven't, then don't watch it. And does it deserve the Oscar for Best Picture? No, because it's not the best movie I've ever seen. The Broadway Melody. The Broadway Melody was the first talkie to win an Oscar for Best Picture. But this very boring with this complex plot, I really didn't like it, even though it had charms in the beginning. Really didn't enjoy it. Maybe like, uh, I'll give it maybe like a 3, 4, or 5 out of 10, and I wouldn't personally recommend it, and I don't think this deserves the Oscar for Best Picture. Next up, All Quiet on the Western Front, a very good lore movie that delves in the psychology of these soldiers, and plus it's the perspective of the German soldiers in World War One. And I really love this movie, I give it a 9 or 10 out of 10. And what I recommend, of course I recommend it, does it deserve the Oscar for Best Picture? Yes, of course it does. Simran, the very first Western to win an Oscar for Best Picture. The first act was actually the best part of the movie, while the second act and the third act kind of kills the movie. What I recommend it? Um, wait, I would give it like, maybe like a, um, um, similar to Broadway Melody 4 or 5 out of 10, and I don't personally recommend it, and does it, do I think this deserves the Oscar for Best Picture? No. Next up, Grand Hotel. Grand Hotel is a very decent movie, but kind of forgettable at times, but still I had a good time watching this, so I'd give it like a 7 or 8 out of 10, and would I recommend it? Go ahead, watch it if you want to, and would I, would, do I think that this deserves the Oscar for Best Picture? Not really, I would say no, no, no. Next up, Cavalcade. Cavalcade is a guilty pleasure drama of mine, I know it's actually not that great of a drama, but, but to be honest, the ending... Oh, jeez. Next up, Cavalcade. Cavalcade is kind of like a guilty pleasure drama of mine. I know it's not that good, and it can be forgettable that so many times, but the ending left, an, left a great note on me, but and I have to admit, this is not the best movie I've ever seen of all of all my life. There are so many scenes that seem unnecessary, and this entire movie is, can be forgettable in so many ways. But because I personally like it, I'd say 5 or 6 out of 10. Would I recommend you to watch it? Yeah, kind of. And... Do I think this os this movie deserves the Oscar for Best Picture? No. Well, if it happened one night this next, then it's a very great com comedy. Yeah. Uh, it happened one night this next movie to win an Oscar for Best Picture. It's a nice ro romantic comedy about, about two people, a, a rich woman and another and a man who's not a rich woman and a newspaper man. It happened one night this next movie, and I really, really, really did enjoy this movie. To, this is a romantic comedy, and the uh, and uh, geez. it happened one night as the next movie to win the Oscar for Best Picture, and it's a very nice romantic comedy because the relationship between the main characters is actually quite fun to watch. With <clears throat> with so many memorable moments as well, what I recommend, I would give it maybe like um, nine or nine or nine to ten out of ten. What I recommend, of course, I do. That I think this movie deserves the Oscar for Best Picture. Of course, I do. Now, next up, Beauty on the Bounty. Beauty on the Bounty has a very long first act, and to be honest with you, but to be on, to be honest with you, but apart from that, it's a very enjoyable film movie about this this guy is uh, trying to have a mutiny against this tyrannical captain, and, and it's actually very, very, very fun to watch, but not the best, not the perfect movie I've ever watched of all times because of the very long first act, but. I had fun watching it, so I give it an 8 or 9 out of 10. What I recommend, of course, I would recommend it as Clark Gable. Does, do I think this deserves the Oscar for Best Picture? Maybe not really. Next up, The Great Ziegfeld, a, a biopic of of the great showman Ziegfeld, which for the most part I thought was actually kind of boring because it kind of showed more of the shows rather than. It kind of, 
the kind that doesn't know how to balance the back Ziegfeld's background life with the shows. Because heck, I, I even wanted to fall asleep on so many occasions of this movie. So uh, I would give it a five out of ten. Would I recommend? Of course not. Of course not. I don't. I would not recommend it. Do I think this movie deserves an Oscar for Best Picture? No. But the Life of Emil Zola. The Life of Emil Zola is actually a very decent movie. It's actually pretty good about the French author Emil Zola, and honestly, it's a very. It's not a very good biopic. It's still a good biopic. And it's just not the entire life of Emile Zola, mainly just uh, just that one case where the French military kind of screwed up. But I had fun watching it. It's tons of fun, but not the best movie I've ever seen. 7 out of 10. And would I recommend it? Definitely check it out. Do I think this deserves the Oscar? No. Next up, you can't take it with you. James Stewart is one of my favorite actors. James Stewart is definitely an actor that I really, really, really do enjoy watching him, him perform for the most part and uh you can't take it with you it's no exception with the it's, an, it's like another um, romantic comedy as well i think and it's another it's a romantic movie which i really 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 did enjoy this one with a very nice moral in this movie i i um i, I would say i enjoyed this very much uh, nine or ten out of ten would i recommend it go ahead and see it and and yes i do think this deserves the oscar for best picture Next up, God of the Wind, the longest one on this, the longest, God of the Wind, the very, the very first colored picture to win the Oscar for Best Picture, and plus, plus the longest running movie to win the Oscar for Best Picture, and God of the Wind, as of now. God of the Wind is a very enjoyable movie, despite it being nearly four hours long, I always had a blast watching this, because I really, really, really love this movie. I give it a 10 out of 10, would I recommend it? Of course, go ahead and check it out if you like dramas. Do I think this is the Oscar? Yes, I do. Rebecca, the first half. Rebecca, the only Alfred Hitchcock. Next up, Rebecca. Rebecca is the only Alfred Hitchcock movie to ever win the Oscar for Best Picture, which is kind of interesting. Like, seriously, there are many other great movies, but Rebecca is definitely a good one to watch. Touch and with this tense moments as well, it does have the Hitchcock style of of direction definitely. Yeah, and I really, really, really did enjoy this. Yes, despite some scenes not being memorable. I mean, I really, really, really did enjoy this with so many suspenseful moments, and and it does show how Alfred Hitchcock can be the master of suspense. And so, well, I'd say nine or ten out of ten. Would I recommend you check it out? Of course. Or does, do I think it deserves the Oscar? Of course, I do. How Green Was My Valley is a good enough movie with, it's a good enough movie, but then I feel like it's not the best movie I've ever seen again, but I had fun watching this movie, of course there are some pleasant moments, but there are some moments that I really can't remember at the top of my head right now, but I really had a blast watching this, but so um, 7 or 8 out of 10, and would I recommend you check it out, yes, do I think it deserves the Oscar for Best Picture because it's not that memorable, no. Mrs. Miniver. Mrs. Miniver is also the case where it's a good movie, except it's not really that memorable in many times. I really liked one of the scenes of this, some of the scenes of this movie, but some of the scenes is not most of the scenes from this movie. But for a war movie even that does not focus on war but on the background, I think it's a great, great in-depth analysis of it. So I'd say um, 8 or 9 out of 10, would I recommend you to check it out, of course. Do I think that it deserves, deserves the Oscar for Best Picture? Well, sure, why not? Because because um, I feel like it was maybe relevant, it was 1942 anyways. Casablanca. Casablanca was... Casablanca is my personal... Casablanca is the movie where I... Next up, Casablanca. Casablanca is the movie where I say to the answer, hey, what's your favorite movie? Because this was the very first black and white movie I've ever seen. And to be honest, I really, really, really love this movie. And Humphrey Bogart is just a great actor in this one. And I really, really, really do love this love story. Yeah, I, I just can't stop. I, I just, it's always so fun to watch this movie. In 10 out of 10, what I recommend you check it out. Of course, check it out. And though I think this deserves the Oscar, yes. Going My Way is the next one. Going My Way is a um, musical with mostly forgettable music. It, it, it's more like a religious type of musical. But then again, this, well, for the most part, it's forgettable. It has unnecessary subplots. But I really had fun watching this movie. It's a very 
fun movie. It's a good movie, but not the best movie. It's still enjoyable, though. Also, do I recommend you check it out? Of so I say it's a 7 out of 10. Do I recommend you check it out? Of course I do. do. Do I think it deserves the Oscar for Best Picture? No, not really. Next up, The Lost Weekend. The Lost Weekend was a very unexpectedly tense movie about an alcoholic, which I really, really, really was shocked because seriously, I I was scared while watching this movie. Go ahead. And, I, and because of that, it deserves like a 9 or 10 out of 10 already. And do I recommend you check it out? Of course. Understand, do I think it deserves the Oscar? Yes, sure. Next up, The Best Years of Our Lives. The Best Years of Our Lives is more of... The Best Years of Our Lives focuses on the study of... The Best Years of Our Lives focuses the stories of, of a couple of people well, after the war. And it, honestly, it does show the effect quite nicely, but also it can feel very lengthy sometimes. I really did enjoy watching this movie. 9 or 10 out of 10, what I recommend you check it out. Go ahead, watch it. And do I think it deserves the Oscar for Best Picture? Sure, why not? Gentleman's Agreement is next. Next up, we have Gentle Gentleman's Agreement. Gentleman's Agreement is... Um, it's an okay movie. I mean, Gregory Peck, if you don't know Gregory Peck, then you haven't watched To Kill a Mockingbird, which is another great movie. Gentleman's Agreement and it's, an, it's a nice enough movie, but it really, honestly, for the most part, I really didn't know what was happening. It didn't focus on the plot until way over, <laughs> like halfway into this movie. It does have the plot on set at the beginning, but it doesn't feel like it started to move until over halfway through. So, no, but it's still very fun to watch nonetheless, and a nice lesson that people, I think in my in my opinion, kind of misinterpret this, this message. But it is still a fun movie to watch. Seven or eight out of ten. What I recommend, check it out. Of course, this, do I think this deserves the Oscar for Best Picture? Not really. Next up, Hamlet. Hamlet was very controversial at the time, but honestly, I had kind of fun watching it, despite lots of the scenes being elongated and some somewhat kind of boring. I mean, seriously, this is the shortest version of Hamlet. I'm sure there is. Yes, and for that, I think it's going to be... I, I think that for that alone, it's actually worth the watch if you want to actually do your literature project as fast as possible. It does show, tell the story of Hamlet kind of nicely and in a way that you could understand visually. So I'd say it's more of an 8 or 9 out of 10, what I recommend you should watch it. Yes, sure, why not? Do I think this is the Oscar for Best Picture? I'm just going to say sure, why not? Next up is All the Kingsmen. All the Kingsmen... Next up is All the Kingsmen. All the Kingsmen is a very fun movie about politics. I don't know how they made the movie so about politicians. I don't know how they made the movie about politics so fun. And so I'm just going to give it like, but, but the ending, the final act, like, not the final act necessarily, but the ending of this movie kind of um, threw me off a lot. So I'm just going to give it an 8 or 9 out of 10. Do I recommend you to watch it? Sure, why not? Do I think this is the Oscar for Best Picture? I'm going to say, yeah, why not? Next up, All About Eve. All About Eve is, um, all About Eve really, really does focus on what happens with the new star tries to come in and you're placing the old star, which I think is a very nice concept for a movie. And I really, really, really did enjoy this. And there are great conflicts in this movie. So I'm just going to give it a 9 or 10 out of 10. What I recommend you watch it. Sure. Go ahead, watch it. And do I think it deserves the Oscar for Best Picture? Yes. Next up, An American in Paris. An American in Paris can be summed up in one word. Charming. It's just a charming movie. It, it's just... Yeah, it's just charming. It's just a charming movie with lots of dance sequences as well, well and nothing else except but a simple plot. So because of the because of its simplicity, it doesn't really feel that complex. I, I really wanted more out of this movies, but I still had fun watching it. Seven or eight out of ten, definitely. Would I recommend you to watch it? Sure, why not? Go and watch it. Do I think this deserves the Oscar for Best Picture? Not really. It could have done better. The Greatest Show on Earth. The Greatest Show on Earth tries to show what happens behind the scenes of a circus, which kind of succeeds and fails, kind of, in my opinion, anyways. It's a fun movie to watch, but yet at the same time, it's not really a great movie to watch. I really kind of have mixed feelings towards this movie. Because of that, it's good. It's good. So 5 or 6 out of 10. And what I recommend you to watch is um, flip a coin on this one. 
And, and do I think this deserves the Oscar for Best Picture? No. Next up, From Here to Eternity. My goodness, there's a, this, this list is long. From Here to Eternity is a great movie about this one guy who is so invested in this wartime, and I really, really, really did enjoy this very much. But, but of course, I feel I still feel like it's still a little bit elongated. I, I don't know why. Right, with these old movies, they end them feeling a bit elongated and some scenes being forgettable. Also, because of that, 8 or 9 out of 10, would I recommend you to watch it? Check it out. Do I think this deserves the Oscar Press picture? Sure, why not? On the Waterfront. On the Waterfront is a very unexpected surprise because... On the Waterfront is a very unexpected surprise because uh, I haven't watched this, but I really, really wanted to watch this. And because I watched it, I really, really loved it. But I really enjoyed this story very much and seriously the ending moment is still kind of memorable to me a lot of the scenes in this movie are memorable 10 out of 10 i would recommend it of course i would recommend this is deserve the oscar for best picture yeah go ahead next up marty marty i think has a unique style of marty has marty kind of tells the story in a very interesting way because it tells it what if actually this can happen and this is suddenly happening right now which is actually very fun to watch for the most part and then, to be honest i really i really really enjoyed this movie also you know they could have delved deeper into the topic of the story where what if marty here who's for the most part single for the most of his life single gets a girlfriend suddenly you know, they could have delved deeper in this story but when with what they have, they got the decent enough. They got a good enough movie. So an eight or nine out of ten, would I recommend you watch? Sure, go ahead. This is a search to Oscar, not really, because I really wanted to. I really wanted this movie to delve deeper in the topic. Next up, Around the World in Eighty Days. Otherwise, the movie that'll get Hail Britannia stuck in your head. I'm not joking. This movie is definitely just a fun, fun no brain. This, this movie is definitely a fun turn your brain off type of movie. Seriously, this movie is like almost three hours long, I believe. And uh, this movie is this movie is just funny in a lot of the scenes, but yet it doesn't seem to feel like it has a purpose because none of the characters complete their none of the characters have an arc in this movie. And, and based on what I've seen, I mean, one of them almost had an arc, but kind of threw it away, so this whole adventure kind of seems pointless, but for the most part, the adventure is fun, but because of the characters, it really seems pointless. But because I had a good time, I'm just going to be generous, 6 or 7 out of 10, would I recommend you watch it? Yeah, sure, why not, if you want to have a good time. Um, this does not, this movie does not deserve the Oscar for Best Picture. Next up, The Bridge on the River Kwai. It looks like it'll be one Kenobi here. The Bridge on the River Kwai is actually a very nice movie. Him, the Bridge, the Bridge on the River Kwai is actually a nice movie. Him during the war times about these British soldiers on like um, the Japanese land, and I really, really, really enjoyed this movie. I think it was actually done wonderfully. Um, ten, nine or ten out of ten, would I recommend? Go ahead or watch it. And do I think it deserves the Oscar? Yeah, sure. Why not? And this is the start of. And you're going, to, and then here, he almost gets started on the musical era. Okay, Gigi, Gigi is a musical that won the Oscar. For, Gigi is a musical which I think is very forgettable and for the most part, but I still had fun watching it. it. It's definitely not the best musical I have ever seen, but still an enjoyable musical. But I don't think I've remembered any songs from, from this movie. <laughs> Um, because uh, that's six or seven out of ten, would I recommend you to watch it? Kind of, you know, or just flip a coin? <laughs> Do I think this is the Oscar for Best Picture? No. Next up, Ben Hur. Ben Hur is a very unexpected surprise. It's because really, for this movie, yeah, everyone talks about the chariot scene. I really love the chariot scene. But what I really love about this movie as well as the character, I really like how they handle the character to make a way it feels believable. Speaking of, it's a, more of a Christian story, 
they somehow made this character a bit more believable and used the uh, use these um, Christian things as metaphors for us as well. It, it works very well for Christians and non-Christians alike. I get my opinion anyway. So 10 out of 10 would I recommend it. Of course, I would recommend you to check it out. Does this deserve the Oscar? Yes, definitely. Next up, The Apartment. The Apartment is actually a fun movie to watch. I really like the concept of this movie, except I feel like it's a bit too long again. <laughs> kind of with some um, forgettable scenes, but one of my favorite things to do nowadays came from actually this movie. One of the scenes from this movie, I really, really want to try it out, and it's actually quite fun. <laughs> but I the apartment is next, and to be honest, um, this movie is definitely very great, and, but I wouldn't say I enjoyed it as much. I don't know, something about it really doesn't feel like it's the perfect movie for me. It's like, so I'm just going to give it like a 9 out of 10 with Eric when you check it out. Yes, yeah, sure, go ahead. And do I think this deserves the Oscar for Best Picture? I don't think so, because I don't feel like this movie has a point. West Side Story. What's West Side Story is... By far, my favorite, my personal favorite musical, no, um, because of my f personal favorite musical, because it, it's more of a um, Romeo and Juliet stole. West Side Story is my personal favorite musical so far, and and this movie does tell the Romeo and Juliet esque story, kind of in its own way in New York, with. And Americans and Puerto Ricans, and I really, really enjoyed this movie. Although the songs may not be sung wonderfully, but th the point of musicals are not just songs. I mean, some songs, lots of songs of this movie are catchy. I really loved lots of these songs, but uh, yeah, I really enjoyed this movie. Yeah, I, I really love this movie, okay? Yeah, I, I want to watch it again. And 10 out of 10, would I recommend it? Of course, go ahead and watch it. Do I think this deserves the Oscar? Yes! Next up, Lawrence of Arabia, based on the true story of Lawrence. Oh, jeez. Next up is Lawrence of Arabia, based on the true story of Lawrence. Peter O'Toole is actually a great actor, and I really like him in this movie. And to be honest, this movie is actually a lot of fun to watch, not just by the being very long. I actually did have fun watching it. It's very memorable, and I really love this movie. Ten out of nine or ten out of ten. What I recommend it. Yeah, what? Go ahead, watch it. And do I think this deserves the Oscar? Yes. Next up, Tom Jones. Otherwise, I would say this is the ugliest looking movie so far in this list. And this is the riskiest movie ever because seriously, this movie is perverted in so many ways, and. Maybe it's your style, maybe it's not. For me personally, I don't mind. But then I also mind a little. Well, so it feels very weird watching this movie that's not adult, but it's perverted. It just is a weird movie with weird color because the comedy they're going for is a bit weird. Would I recommend you to watch it? Well, if you like some weird comedy, watch it. If you don't, then don't. Do I think this deserves the Oscar? No. Next up is My Fair Lady, otherwise the movie that made me want to learn the Cognition accent. Oh, jeez. Cognition accent is actually quite difficult, by the way. But My Fair Lady is definitely a fun movie to watch. Also, I don't, I didn't like some scenes of it. I mean, there's this one subplot that... I feel like it was so unnecessary. I, seriously, it feels so unnecessary. Um, so, um, 8 or 9 out of 10, would I recommend you check it out? Yeah, definitely check it out. Do I think it deserves the Oscar? Mm, I don't know. Um, at this point, I could just flip a coin. Maybe not. Maybe not. Although it's lovely, I don't. I don't personally think this deserves the Oscar for Best Picture. Next up, The Sound of Music, a classic musical, which is actually a very, which is actually a very fun musical, and I really, really, really love this movie. Everyone loves this movie, but honestly, I have like a bit of a gripe with this movie because, based on structure, like one of some of the scenes, like 
It's more like based on story structuring, not not story structuring. How, yeah, story structure. How they structure this structure to tell the story. It kind of feels illogical, not logical at all. Well, yeah, that's my only gripe with the movie. So I give it a nine out of ten. Would I recommend you to watch it? Of course, watch it. Do I think this deserves the Oscar Best Picture? Yeah, I think so because this is actually a nice musical. Except A Man for All Seasons. A Man for All Seasons is a very safe movie, in my opinion. It really doesn't offer too much new from my feeling, but from my feelings, but it's still good to watch. But not the best to watch. Eight out of t eight or nine out of ten would I recommend it if you want to watch it? Do I think this deserves the Oscar? Not really. Next up in the heat of the night, otherwise known as. Next up in the heat of the night, and the heat of the night is a very nice, nice um, crime story here with this um, with the colored man suddenly being a detective and. Seriously, I actually had so much fun watching this movie. Of course, I didn't think it to be the best movie ever made. Like, I don't remember why. I, I don't think this is the best movie ever made. Like, like some scenes, scenes I'd say are not that that uh, memorable to me yet. Also, um, 8 or 9 out of 10, would I recommend it? Yes, definitely. Do I think this deserves the Oscar? Sure, why not? Next up is Oliver, another musical. So, <coughs> next up is Oliver. Yes, there's an exclamation point. Oliver is a family musical full of about the Charles Dickens classic Oliver Twist. Now, if you want your children or your or if you want your children to know about Oliver Twist, but they are too lazy to read it, you could show them this movie. I had fun watching this movie, but to be honest, um, the the one of the characters has an arc that kind of feels unnecessary. To be honest, for me, I think it's a very fun movie to watch. But then there there is this character, true or characters, I don't character, yeah, character who who learns. A lesson, but kind of throws it away, which kind of feels pointless. Delving deeper into the subplot, I really, I really, yeah, I really didn't like that. So uh, eight or nine out of ten, would well, I recommend you to watch it? Yeah, go ahead, watch it. Do I think this deserves the Oscar for Best Picture for a family movie? I, I wouldn't mind. Next up, Midnight Cowboy. Oh boy. Midnight Cowboy is um, is a fun movie to watch. Definitely, it's a great drama. Uh, and to be honest, the only thing I really didn't like is like near the final ending of this movie, suddenly things get a lot crazy. I really didn't like that. I really did not like that at all. I would give this movie an eight out of ten. Would I recommend it? Definitely, rec definitely check it out. Do I think this deserves the Oscar? Yeah, sure, why not? Next up, Patton, based on the true story of this U.S. Next up is Patton, based on the true story about George S. Patton, which I think is a very fun movie. It's very long, long ago, but I really, really had a great time watching this. Uh, 9 or 10 out of 10, I, would I recommend it? Definitely. Do I think it deserves the Oscar? Yes. Next up, The French Connection. This movie is actually surprisingly exciting. I really, really, really love this excitement of this movie. I absolutely love this movie. I seriously. So um I give it a ten out of ten. Would I recommend it? Definitely check it out. Do I think it deserves the Oscar? Yes. Next up the Godfather, otherwise known as the quote unquote perfect movie, which is definitely true. It's a great drama. I I know how I know some people may not enjoy this movie, but I really, really, really do enjoy this movie. Really did enjoy this movie. So, um, 10 out of 10, would I recommend it? Definitely, recommend, definitely check it out if you're in the mood for a great, deep type of drama. Do I think this deserves the Oscar? Yes, I do. Next up, The Sting. The Sting was surprisingly a very fun movie. Although, The Sting was a 
The Sting is a very surprisingly fun movie. I really, really, really did enjoy this movie. And seriously, this movie made me want to watch this entire thing again. I love this movie so much. Um, I'd say 10 out of 10. Would I recommend it? Definitely go check it out. Do I think it deserves the Oscar? Yes, because they somehow made, like, con artists into a very fun com very fun movie. Next up, The Godfather Part 2, which, in my opinion, I think is the simpler version of The Godfather 1. The Godfather Part 2, which, in my opinion, I think is a, the story is a bit less complex, a bit more simple than The Godfather, but I don't care too much about how simple it is as long as they delve a bit deeper into the story. But they, they kind of do, but they kind of do... A, who um, go through this drama thing. It's a very fun drama to watch, for my opinion. But uh, definitely, I would choose Godfather 1 over Godfather Part 2. Well, but both of them definitely are great movies to watch. So Godfather Part 2, maybe like a 10 out of 10. Would I recommend it? Definitely check it out. Do I think it deserves the Oscar for a sequel? That's good. Yes. Next up, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, a very fun movie. About mentally insane people, um, I really enjoyed this. This movie is very memorable, and that nurse is evil. Well, um, 10 out of 10. Would I recommend it? Definitely. Do I think it deserves the Oscar? Yes. Next up, Rocky. Rocky is another charming type of movie, which is basically about this one guy. <coughs> <coughs> Rocky is very charming in so many ways, and Follows the journey of this one rookie, he's suddenly giving a chance. I really, really loved this movie, and this movie gave a bunch of sequels, which, for the most part, I enjoyed, like, a lot of them. Yes. So, and Rocky is definitely a great movie to watch. 10 out of 10. And uh, would I recommend it? Definitely check it out. Do I think it is the Oscar? Yes. Next up, Annie Hall. Annie Hall, um, to be honest, this is my first time watching a Woody Allen movie, and I don't know what to expect of this type of movie. Um, so based on Annie Hall, it's supposed to be a romantic comedy, which I think for some scenes it worked for me, while some scenes it really doesn't work for me, but definitely I had fun watching this movie nonetheless. 9 out of 10 would I recommend it, definitely check it out. Do I think it deserves the Oscar? Sure, why not? Next up, The Deer Hunter. The Deer Hunter, a very, very, very long first act. Very long. It's so long. But the rest of the movie is just um, fine, as long as you don't fall asleep. Yeah, but of course, I do agree that it, it can be boring. But to be honest, for me, I think I, I have I had the... Great time watching this type of drama. Um, 9 out of 10, what I recommend it. Definitely, if you are in the mood for this type of movie, do I think it deserves the Oscar? Yes. Next up, Kramer vs. Kramer. It's a very fun movie to watch. I really, about single parenting, except more on the father rather than the mother. And I really, really love how how they tell the story in a dramatic way. I really enjoyed this movie. This is what I call a great drama movie. Yeah, um, 9 or 10 out of 10. I would not recommend it. Definitely go check it out. Do I think it deserves it? Yeah. Next up, Ordinary People. Ordinary People is actually a very a fun movie to watch. Not fun. Ordinary People is a very great drama to watch. I really, really did enjoy this one. It's so fun. It's very entertaining. Definitely. Yeah, and yeah, I just enjoyed it. Um, 9 or 10 out of 10, would recommend it, yes. Do I think it deserves the Oscar? Yes. Next up, Chariots of Fire, otherwise the movie with the slow-mo beach running scene. And, um, I absolutely enjoyed this, I, even though some scenes can be, be improved a lot. But um, I absolutely love this one. Uh, 9 out of 10, would I recommend it? Yes. Do I think it deserves the Oscar? Sure, why not? Next up, Gandhi. Gandhi... It's actually a very nice movie to watch. It tells the life of Gandhi pretty well. And and honestly, yeah, it, it tells about Gandhi in a very nice nice way. And you kind of understand it. But somehow, it kind of feels repetitive at some points. <laughs> to be honest, in my opinion, anyways. So, 9 out of 10. 
Do I recommend it? Yes. Sure, I'm going to watch it. Do I think it deserves the Oscar? Yeah, why not? Terms of Endearment. Terms of Endearment, for the most part, is definitely a fun movie, but yet there are some scenes that I really, really, really didn't enjoy. Like, some scenes are just there for no reason, I I would say. But I still had a good time watching this movie. So, um, 8 out of 10, would I recommend it? Yes, yeah, sure, why not? But um, do I think it deserves it? Not really. It could have done better. It could have been done better. Next up, Amadeus. I am judging this by the theatrical release, not the extended versions. So Amadeus is um, not talking about the extended edition, and it's definitely a very fun movie to watch about Mozart, but to be honest, um, yeah, I had tons of fun watching this movie. I really, really love this movie. Ten, 9 or 10 out of 10. Would I recommend it? Definitely go ahead and watch it. Do I think it deserves the Oscar? Yes, yeah, sure. I really like the ending to that one. Next up, Out of Africa. Out of Africa kind of is terrible at some points, but great at some points. That's how I feel about this movie. But for the most part, I think the outcome is definitely positive. Uh, but because of some of its moments, which I really think had, could have been improved or acted out better or done bad. Done because of some of the moments, I feel like they could have been better. I, I could give it a seven, six or seven out of ten. Do I, do I recommend it? Yeah, sure. Do I think it deserves the Oscar? No. Next up, Platoon. Platoon is a very fun war movie. I really enjoyed this. I really, really, really love this war movie. I, I love this movie so much. But I'm 10 out of 10. Recommend it. Yes, go and watch it. Do I think it deserves the Oscar? Yes. Next up, The Last Emperor. The Last Emperor is actually a very um, good movie. Not the best movie I've ever seen, though, but it's definitely a great movie to watch. What about this uh, Last Emperor of China? Uh, I'm 9 or 10 out of 10, would I recommend it? Yes. Do I think it deserves the Oscar? Sure. Next up, Rain Man. Rain Man is actually a very interesting movie about these two characters trying to you know, form from a better relationship because they were brothers and they didn't realize it, but one of them is like mentally ill. And it's actually tons of fun to watch and like it, it's also very dramatic as so many some points of this movie. And I really, really, really think that this movie is very good in that aspect. So I'd say nine or ten out of ten. Would I recommend it? Yes. Do I think it deserves the Oscar? Yes. Next up Driving Miss Daisy. Driving Miss Daisy is definitely a movie to watch. Next up, Driving Miss Daisy. Driving Miss Daisy is definitely a fun movie to watch, but ultimately some scenes are definitely forgettable. Nine or nine out of ten. What I recommend it? Yes, sure, go ahead. Do I think it deserves it? I don't personally feel like it deserves the Oscar. Next up, Dances with Wolves. Dances with Wolves is it's a movie that you know, does show case about. So let's show what the one to tell. That's not a story what the one to tell, but kind of in a very long manner. It just feels too long, in my opinion. So, 9 out of 10, would I recommend it? Definitely go check it out. Do I think it deserves it? Yeah, why not? Next up, Silence of the Lambs is a very, very great crime and drama, and I really, really love this movie. 10 out of 10 was recommended. Definitely go check it out. Then, um, do I think you get the search Oscar? Yes. Next up, Unforgiven. Unforgiven, I really love this movie. The Western style of this movie, and about this character. It really, 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 really has a nice moral about killing stuff. I really enjoyed this. Um, do I think so um, I would say 10 out of 10. Do I think I recommend? I would recommend you check it out. Do I think it's a Cersei Oscar for Best Picture? Yes. Next up, Schindler's List. Schindler's List is a very great movie. Liam Neeson is great. Everything in this movie is executed great. The color is, the color is choice is perfect. And, and seriously, you, seriously, you, you, you may cry while watching this movie. It really, is that depressing? So um. 10 out of 10, do I recommend it? Yes, definitely go ahead and check it out. Uh, at least just once. 
do I think it deserves the Oscar? Yes, definitely. Next up, Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump, a very fun movie to watch and a very nice message how an idiot can definitely be successful. Do I, so I give it a 10 out of 10, do I recommend it? Yes, do I think it deserves the Oscar? Yes. Next up, Braveheart. Braveheart, let me tell you, who um, is kind of close to my heart because uh, seriously, this was one of the movies, I watched this movie when I was uh, not really feeling uh, happy to my Braveheart um, is a very fun movie to watch. I really, really enjoy this movie. He and does tell, tell the story of of William Wallace. Was it? And really, really does tell the story kind of well. Also, I, I really don't know. I really don't find any faults in this movie. I had tons of fun watching this movie. 10 out of 10, would I recommend it? Definitely recommend it. Do I think it deserves the Oscar? Yes. Next up, The English Patient. The English Patient, I am having mixed feelings about it. On one hand, it's actually a very good drama. On the other hand, there's this um, unnecessarily unnecessary um, things going on, in my opinion, anyways. And so, 7 or 8 out of 10, would I recommend it? Definitely check it out at least once. Do I think it deserves the Oscar? No. <sighs> As we're almost done. Next up, Titanic. Just too overrated. It's just too overrated. 8 out of 10, would I recommend it? If you haven't watched this movie, then what are you doing with your life? Seriously, seriously, um, no matter what, no matter who you are, you would have at least heard of this movie. Somebody may have forced you to watch this movie. So, yeah, definitely recommend it, but do I think it deserves the Oscar? No, because it's too overrated. It's not that, it's not that good, but it's still good. Okay, next up, Shakespeare in Love, which is kind of controversial, but I won't talk about that deeply. But honestly, Shakespeare in Love is definitely a fun movie. I really like the fun take of William Shakespeare as, like, what if... This happened when he was writing Romeo and Juliet. I really enjoyed this movie, and seriously, there are so many funny moments in this movie. I don't know if they were intentional or not. I would say they are, but definitely some scenes didn't land for me. So, 8 or 9 out of 10, what I recommend it, definitely. Do I think it deserves the Oscar? You see, I'm conflicted. <laughs> um, not really, because I feel like it kind of stole from Titanic the idea of, like, Actually, it's all from a lot of stuff. Yeah, because I, I personally don't think it deserves the Oscar for Best Picture because I feel like it's more of a movie to watch for fun rather than for some serious fun, if that makes sense. Next up, American Beauty, which I personally felt disappointed by. It's not, it's not that great. Mainly, the final act is definitely the best part of the movie. But the first act kind of loses itself, and the second act feels so long, um, in my opinion anyways. Uh, so, 6 or 7 out of 10. Would I recommend it? Maybe it'll work for you, but for me, I, I, I didn't like it, so... I personally wouldn't... I, I, I wouldn't really recommend it. Um, do I think it deserves it? For me personally, no. Next up, Gladiator. At first I enjoyed this movie, and then when I watched it again, yeah. It really is like a movie that, it's, the story feels like a story that you have actually heard of tons of before, and because of that, it kind of feels boring in some, some moments, and the action scenes are kind of done a bit terribly, in my opinion, anyways. Please, but not, could be improved. The action scenes could have been improved, in my opinion, so... 7 or 8 out of 10, would I recommend it? Definitely go and check it out once, so I think it deserves it. Not real. Next up, A Beautiful Mind. I really enjoyed this movie, and I really think it tells even John Nash's problem kind of decently well. So, um, 9 or 10 out of 10, 9 or 10 out of 10, would I recommend it? Definitely go and check it out. Do I think it deserves the Oscar? Yeah, sure, why not? Next up, Chicago. Chicago is a very, very fun musical. Yes, we have another musical. 
Well, which uses an interesting style, and it's a nice, unique style. I really did enjoy that style. Also, although it could have handled like more of its um, side characters, like one of the side characters just got forgot. Then even one of the side characters, because so it should have been the main character, gets for forgotten in this movie. Even though that's a point of this movie, what like you get famous and then forgotten quite quickly. It really didn't feel right for certain characters. There was mainly the background characters, so um, side characters. I would say could have developed them a bit more and integrated them to the story a bit more. But the style is definitely unique. So eight or nine out of ten, would I recommend you watch it? Yes, definitely sure. Do I think it deserves it? Kind of. Kind of. Kind of deserves the Oscar for its unique style. Next up, Return of the King, which is, but because this third one, I'm just going to um, you know, review all of the three Lord of the Rings movies. The Lord of the Rings movies are definitely a blast to watch from Fellowship to Two Towers to Return. Definitely, definitely a blast, a must-see. All three of them, definitely a must-see. And speaking that... The third one won the Oscar for Best Picture. It's actually quite kind of fun to watch. Watch it. It's like, like it's a very fun adventure. There's so many great drama in this movie. He yeah, and for all of the trilogy, it's actually quite kind of a nice pack. Although Return of the King's final act may feel so long, I really didn't mind it. So um, ten out of ten would I recommend it? I recommend the entire trilogy. Do I think it deserves the Oscar? Yeah, I, I think it deserves it. Next up, Million Dollar Baby. You know, for, you know, Million Dollar Baby is actually a very great drama. I really enjoyed this movie so much. Although, seriously, like one one of the subplots is about about them um, Clint Eastwood's characters, um, like um, daughter, like. Like, one of the subplots is basically about some kind of um, family issue, which I really think, which I really think they should have de delved deeper more, to be honest with you. But for what it is, I, I really did enjoy it. 9 out of 10, do what I recommend it. Yes, sure. Do I think it deserves the Oscar? Yes. Next up, Crash. Crash is... Basically, I I really didn't have a feeling. I had a mixed feeling about this movie, and then, and then I read some of the critics' quick score. Um, let me just search it up very quickly. Yeah, right here. It's characters. So this is from Metacritic. I think so. Ty Burr, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. From Boston Globe said. Its characters come straight from the assembly line of screenwriting, archetypes, archetypes, and too often they act in ways that archetypes rather than human beings do. Which I personally agree. It really doesn't feel like they're humans. And seriously, the entire movie is just a pattern, if you think about it, and and kind of repeats the same message. It keeps on saying in every scene. Hey, racism is bad. Racism is bad. It's kind of getting annoying. So 6 or 7 out of 10. Would I recommend it? Just flip a coin on this one. Do I think it deserves the Oscar for Best Picture? No. Next up, The Departed. The Departed is actually a very fun movie to watch. It's more of violence. I, I, I seriously didn't know this movie could have been nominated for Best Picture and even won it. And seriously, I feel like this is the era where they get the hang of like the best picture winners, it's, it's, except for Crash. So the, the part is actually a very fun movie. I really, really love the movie and the violence at the final act. It's so awesome. Ten out of ten. But I recommend it. Definitely go check it out. Next up, oh yeah, and do I think it deserves the Oscar for best picture? Yes. Next up, No Country for Old Men. Very fun movie, very intense, and the villain and the antagonist in this one is very creepy and well done. Um, 10 out of 10, would I recommend it? Yes. Do I think it deserves the Oscar? Yes. 
Slumdog Millionaire. It's more of a very fun movie rather than a serious one. Fun for this one. Slumdog Millionaire, here in my opinion, it's just a movie that was, I think it was just made with the intent of fun and it really feels so much fun watching this movie. It's nothing but fun. Also, there are some scenes that can ruin it, but I really enjoyed this movie for the most part. And so, um, 9 out of 10, and do I think it deserves the Oscar for Best Picture? Yeah, sure, why not? It's a very good movie. Yeah, and it's a very good one as well. It executes itself very well. Next up, The Hurt Locker. Hurt Locker, Hurt Locker is actually a very good movie, but for me, I, honestly, I have mixed feelings. I have mixed feelings towards this movie. Yeah, I don't know why, but to be honest, maybe it's like um, some of the scenes not being executed wonderfully or something like that. But I did, for the most part, enjoyed this movie. So um, 7 or 8 out of 10, do I recommend it? Yes. Do I think it deserves the Oscar? For me personally, no. Next up, The King's Speech. Jeez. The King's Speech is definitely a very fun movie to watch. No. The King's Speech is a very good drama to watch. I really enjoyed this this movie and tells the story of this um of this king with the spit speech and pediment very well. So ten out of ten do I recommend it? Yes, or you think it deserves it? Yes. Next up the artist. The artist is a very charming movie that goes back to the styles of the um old black and white days he's in silent movie eras. And to be honest, the silent film era setting was actually not used for, hey, we're just using this for stylistic purposes, but it felt like it's used for story purposes as a metaphor, which I think kind of works very nicely. But also, but to be honest, back to the silent form, I wouldn't say this is the best silent movie ever. Technically, for the most part, it's a silent movie. I wouldn't spoil the end, but for the most part, it's a silent movie. Yeah, but it really doesn't feel like a silent movie, in my opinion. It doesn't feel like those movie from the 1920s or or something like that. Mm-hmm. And so, um, 8 or 9 out of 10, do I recommend it? Yes. Do I think it deserves it? Well, they tried, so yeah, sure, why not? Argo. Argo is a very fun movie. You know, about, based on true story, how CIA used to fake movie to rescue a bunch of people, which I still think that that thing is ridiculous. But I had tons of fun watching this movie. So, um, 9 out of 10, would I recommend it? Yes, definitely. Do I think it deserves the Oscar? Sure, why not? Next up, 12 Years a Slave, a very fun... Uh, 12 Years a Slave, a very good movie about slavery and about this guy who got who's been a slave for like 12 years and how it could have been, how, how he experienced it. It's actually a very, very, very nice movie to watch. And I really did enjoy myself watching this. It was, um, yeah, 10 out of 10. Do, um, yes, I recommend it. Do I think it deserves the Oscar? Yes. Next up, Birdman or The Unexpected Virtue of Ignorance. And this movie has the illusion of one of it being in one take, but to be honest, for this movie, if I were to say it, I didn't enjoy it, but for the most part, I'm having mixed feelings, because they do have interesting subplots, but they never resolve them, kind of, yeah, they never resolve them, in my opinion, anyways, it really feels that way, it's like, yeah, you have a great point for subplots, but you really haven't resolved them properly, which is kind of annoying, when watching this movie. He, so, yeah, 7 out of 10. 6 or 7 out of 10, would I recommend it? Sure, why not? Do I think it deserves the Oscar? No, not really. Next up, Spotlight. Spotlight is actually a very fun movie. He, he trying to you know, uncover truth about the Catholic churches. Like, seriously, if you don't know the truth about Catholic churches, like, Seriously, what are you doing with your life? It's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of um, interesting to actually watch this movie because them uncovering a story that has been hidden for years, it's actually, it's actually done so well. Well, and I really, really enjoyed this watching this movie. 
yeah, 10 out of 10, would I recommend it? Yes. Do I think it deserves the Oscar? Yes. Next up, La La Land. Wait, is that La La Land? Oh yeah, Moonlight. Moonlight, I just, um, for the most part, that's good. For the most part. But um, there are some scenes where I feel like they could have done a bit better. It feels like, like, why am I watching these scenes? But ultimately, towards the end, I feel like, yeah, I don't regret watching this movie, but this movie should have given a bit, like, should have executed some scenes better, in my opinion, anyways. So, 9 out of 10, do I think, do I, would I recommend it? Sure, why not? Do I think it deserves the Oscar? Yeah, why not? Next up, The Shape of Water. Shape of Water is a very weird movie. I really like the style of this movie, but I really didn't like the plot, because the plot feels like, Kind of like what you've heard of before. The story is like, yes, I know the story. I've heard the story, this kind of story a million times. That's my main drive of this movie. For the most part, it's enjoyable, but yeah, there are some scenes. Really, I really think like doesn't make sense. Like at the end, suddenly this happened because the story wanted it to. They had a setup, but the setup wasn't that great. And the story... It's kind of like not that original as well. It's the style is great though, but for the most part, um, the, yeah, I would give it just a seven out of ten. Would I recommend it? Kind of recommend it. Do I think it deserves the Oscar for Best Picture? No. And there we have all ninety movies that won an Oscar for Best Picture, and I think I wasted an hour of my life. Jeez. Just telling you all of these movies. Well, now, now, all I have to do is just watch um, the next, watch the next um, Academy Awards. So I'm going to search right now. What are the nominees? I have seen some of the nominees, but I, I want. This is my prediction only for Best Picture. Okay. Let me just search it right there. Okay, so the best picture nominees for this year, for this Academy Awards are Bohemian Rhapsody, The Favorite, Black Panther, Black Klansman, Green Book, Vice, A Star Is Born, and Roma. So, I'm I'm going to tell you personally what I've watched. I've watched Bohemian Rhapsody. I've watched Black Panther. Black Klansman, and Green Book. I haven't watched The Favorite, Vice, The Star is Born, or Roma. So basically, I watch half of these. So, what movie do I think would win? I don't know, to be honest. I have to see like what the story is about. Not in their IMDb ratings. Give me like one minute. This will just take a very quick video edit. Uh, the interesting thing is that most of these movies are actually um, kind of predictable to a bunch of the previous ones, and I am not joking, like, wait, seriously? This is based on true story again. supposed to predict what to win well if I were to choose personally based on what I've watched um, I don't think Black Panther should win in my opinion Black Panther is not the best Mar is definitely not the best Marvel movie ever and I don't think Vice will win even though I haven't watched it but based on what I've seen I don't think it will win Roma has potential, The Star is Born has potential, The Favorite has potential, Black Klansman and Green Book, both all of those movies have potential. Bohemian Rhapsody, I thought was okay, it's good. But if I have to choose, this is hard. Do people do this for fun? Um, I would choose... 
I think I would either choose Black Klansman or Green Book. Because those are the only two movies I've watched, and those two both have something to do with racism in there. But I, I think it's one of those two. Okay? That's my predictions. Either Black Klansman or Green Book. So, are you excited for the 91st Academy Awards? Because I think I am. Despite their picks being too... Need to be improved more of, more or less, but I am excited. And, and seriously, I don't think I could watch it live, but I think I, I, I would try, but based on schedule purpose, schedule wise, I don't think I, I have time to actually watch this. I think I have to record it and then watch it or watch a rerun, re, like, you know, like the second showing of this awardings. But, but definitely, I am excited for the results. So, so, what movie do you think will win the Oscar for Best Picture? Please comment down below. And, and um, yeah, what? And have you watched any of these movies? Like, and tell me what was your personal favorite? Comment down in the description below. My personal favorite, as I said, I would just say Casablanca. Because that was the very first black and white movie I've seen. But apart from that... Um, yeah, if you want more of this content, maybe like next year, I will finish all of the separate movie reviews. Then um, click subscribe to get more of this content. And, um, and, and if you like this, if you like this video, hit the like button. And if you want more of this content, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to get notified, then you may just hit the bell icon. And apart from that, I will see you all on the next video. Goodbye.